Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin a reflective time tonight, let your whole body begin to unwind. Breathe slowly and deeply. Loosen your tense muscles with every exhale. There is no rush now, no pressure. You can simply be. For the Lord your God, the maker of heaven and earth, and everything in them, holds you in his right hand. He will speak to you tonight as you open your heart to him. High above all that you have made, you, O Lord, are God. You are far above all my problems. You are vastly greater than all that I admire and love. You are more powerful than anything I fear. You are more wonderful than anything in this world. What a privilege to come before you in prayer. Please will you meet with me tonight as I listen to the reading of your word. Matthew chapter 8 Verses 1 to 4 say, When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately, he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Leprosy was the worst of diseases. Sufferers were quarantined away from the public to prevent spreading germs. It was a lifetime of lockdown away from anyone they ever loved. They lived by scavenging or begging. To add insult to injury, if they ever approached the public, they were required to cover their mouth and loudly announce, unclean. Theirs was a life of shame poverty and despair. Imagine the horror of the crowd as a leprous man approached Jesus. Such nearness put everyone, especially Jesus himself, at risk. But Jesus allowed him to make his request, if you are willing, 
you can make me clean. Like many of us, he knew that Jesus had the power to heal his brokenness and cleanse his defilement, but he didn't know whether Jesus was actually willing to help someone like him. His answer to the leper is his answer to us as well. I am willing. Be clean. Tonight, are you wondering whether Jesus is willing to help you? That leper had done nothing to earn Jesus' favour, and you haven't either. Just come as he did and kneel at the feet of the Saviour and put your faith in him. He is willing to help you. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. O oh Lord, I know that your power is limitless. There is nothing you cannot do. You are God. You are the creator of all things. I know that you can bring healing and wholeness for the brokenness and pain in my life. I know you can bring cleansing to my sin and my shame. If you are willing, you can heal me. Dear Jesus, I trust you. I put my faith in you. You are powerful and you are good. You are loving and compassionate. I trust in you. The psalmist says in Psalm 18, verses 16 to 19, He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. 
he brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, may my sleep tonight be peaceful. May my mind be restful. May my dreams be tranquil. And may I awake tomorrow in the hopeful assurance that you are always willing to come to my aid when I need you. Amen.